Chapter 2, A Wind Dragon Frey, Horam, Rory, and Vulcan transported in a flash of green. The light faded when they landed. Greg blinked. A chilly breeze made him shiver. He looked around. They stood on a stone platform on top of the mountain. Tall peaks rose around them in every direction. The floppy crowd clouds in the sky looked close enough to touch. They were very high up, he thought. Dozens of small homes wound down the mountainside, but the biggest structure on the mountain sat on the very top, a tall stone wall surrounding a square courtyard. They had landed just outside the wall. Whereas filled the courtyard, they were brightly colored, they were brightly colored tonics, ladder sandals, and drum-shaped hats. They faced a woman sitting on a stone throne. She was dressed in silk, silk with rose, yellow, and orange designs. A band of silver shook her head. She must be the air queen, Rick gasped. And right next to her, you're the wind dragon, Rory cried, just like the picture in the book. Pale purple and white feathers covered the dragon's body and wings. He had long, slim ears and face that reminded Drake like of a horse. Look at the girl next to the dragon, Drake said. It's she a dragon master. The girl had bl black brain hair that reached her waist. She wore a colorful skirt and yellow jacket over a white sh shirt. The sun glinted off the green jean hanging around her neck. Yes, yeah, she wore the dragon's down just like we do, Rory said. We need to talk to her, Waitrick said. There are a lot of warriors. They might attack when they see two dragons. He looked at Bor and his dragon's down glowed at the two of them connected. Can you communicate with the wind dragon? We need to know is it safe for us to approach. Home closed his eyes. His body glowed a soft green. Soon Drake heard a warm voice in his head. I can sense the dragon's energy, but I can get through to her. She's very upset. Something isn't right. Worm says something wrong here, Drake told Rory. I know, Rory said. Look! She pointed to the dragon's leg. Drake squinted to see. A thick silver chain bound the dragon to the queen's throne.